Hey, Gowney. We're getting pig hunting. Hey, gun, big dog. Only got gum boots, eh? Oh, well, good luck at the forestry with those. I might have some boots in the back I can lend you. What size feet you got? Oh no, I can get you 11s. Jeez, you're a big, big boy, aren't you? 11s. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, is it gone over it? Oh shit. Oh no. Still goes? Yep. Is it cracked? No, it's fine. It always looks cracked, isn't it? No, it was already there. Is it cracked? You're lucky there's the backing for it. That was a good start of the day, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you crack it? No, it's, it's still going. Oh, it's oh, no. it's you, you ran straight over it. Oh, <laughs> it was just bad luck. Oh, no. no worries. Hey, we'll give you a buzz when we get him back, yeah? yeah no worries. Have fun. Yeah. Jump in the back of the dog, mate. Your phone's alright, buddy. That was lucky. Yeah. Okay? Shit. I was just about to call you. Straight over your telephone and drove over it. Is it still going? Yeah. Is it still functioning? It is too. Look at me. You know Harley? Um, you met Harley before? Have you guys hunted no. together? No. Oh, better shake hands through here. <laughs> Harley, that's uh, Brody. Brody, that's Harley. Right, we'll go and get Lucas. Okay. Off to Wakefield. Put a hundred bucks in the truck so it'll get us around for the day. It's just about bad luck to start the morning off, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, what did it happen? So you're lucky. I'd say that's a sign of good luck. Yeah. Morning, Dad. There you go. Lucas, you good to go, buddy? Hey, folks, I'm going to let uh, young Lucas introduce himself because he actually is a YouTuber and he's learning the ropes of being a YouTuber. I'm teaching him how to do introductions to the video. There you go, Lucas. Hello, I'm Lucas. Um, I like pig hunting. I'm 10 years old and I've got two pig dogs, Stella and Snotty. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, why am I taking you out today? You've got two pig dogs. Why are you taking your dogs out? Um, because my dad hurt himself. He fell off a motorbike. This is where we were a couple of days ago and it proved to have some good pigs. Crank her open, mate. And uh, we, we got a couple about as big as Brody's boot. That's posed, the green one. That goes over the top as far as you can go like that there. Pull us out. He's a tiny dog with a tiny neck, so we want to make it as tight as we can possibly. Okay, this round here. Stay here, Pace. Tucks in there, okay? Always always on the left hand side there. there. Poke up. Yep, yeah, poke. We got dogs all collared up, good to go. We've seen a number of pig hunters already going down here, but uh, that doesn't mean we won't catch anything. The wind's blowing pretty cold, which is good for the dogs, so we might be able to get a bit more hunting in than we did last time, because last time they overheated quite a bit. here where there's this bit of pine here and a bit of cut over might be worth just letting one dog out for a sniff just along here often pigs will be in between those places just might put one dog here for a sniff He's a bit sore. Got a problem with it? That's no good, is it, Bigsy? Let's go have a look down this gully here. Have a sniff, Bigsy. Come on, boy. Have a sniff down here, mate. Another hunter in front of us. Just have a look at that gully. Nothing happening. We're going to carry on down. Got the wind going straight down here so we can get down there, we might better hunt back up the side. Is there any fresh tracks going down here? No. Oh. Doesn't look like it, does it? Kind of. Would it be worth trying down there? We'll let, um, we'll let a couple of, we'll let the dogs run on the way down there. You stay there, Pixie. You stay there, boy. Right, we'll leave Bigsy in because he's a bit foot sore. We'll get on this track and see what happens. There's a dog track on there, see? So it looks like a dog has been down here. Yeah. It's also a vehicle track here, so maybe there has been someone down here. We'll find out in a minute. 
dogs got sent right in here straight away. I saw that. So I want to be really quiet with the doors, boys, because there's a pig in there for sure. There's a boar mark, look, just here, right here. It's down up here. He's off too. Good stuff. Yeah, it looks hopeful, way. Eh? See how that pans out. Where's me fresh? Let's run right up here. Dogs have done a big circle right around and over here. Dogs have got a pig down here, but it's just so thick. I ain't got any fucking chats of the shit. <sighs> Look at that here. And thick fucking gorse with no chaps. I'm gonna pay for this tomorrow. Fuck. I'm above you, but I'm coming down through some thick shit. Dogs are still treed, but there's no more barking or squealing, so they might have killed it. This thick stuff is just impossible to get through. I'm really regretting I didn't pick up those chaps off Simon last night. Got, got a bit of a gap down here. Yeah, it's still squealing. Oh, I can hear Poe barking. I'm getting closer. Down this gut. Good dogs. Good girl, Poe. Still squealing. This is a steep down here. Oh shit. Goes into a steep, steep. Ugh. Good dogs! Oh. Let's say poor old piggy's been nailed by the dogs. I've been on it for quite a while. Take me a long time to get down here. The young fellas are quite far behind. This is steep. Real steep. Ugh. Fuck! You boys, come on! All right, thumb up with me. Ugh. Somewhere down this creek, I think. Good dogs. Good girl, Pope. Oh, where are we? Shit, gotta get this shit out. Dogs. Good girl. Yeah, good dogs. Good boy. And also the leading pig. The leading sow. All that for a pig, which uh, is about as big as Poe, I suppose. Be a nice eating pig. Oh, my adrenal glands are so much in my back. I'm sore. Out of there, Poe. How far are you boys away? I thought we had to bore it first because there was a big bale going down, but it was in a place we obviously had got on these logs. <laughs> I'm laughing because here I am, fucking nearly 60 down in the shithole of a gully. <laughs> Come through a fuck ton of gorse <laughs> to get a bit of pork for everybody to eat. Good dogs. Good dogs. You boys, come on! Oh, I've got 
really had pain in my back from my adrenal glands. I thought I was going into something quite big. Turns out it's just a, a little little sow. Po actually found that one. She tracked it and found it. You got it, didn't you? Good girl. Couple of old dogs can still do it. We ain't dead yet, are we, girl? Fuck no. No, we're not. Good dog. <laughs> Always good to catch a pig with Po, eh? Ah, I love this dog. <laughs> I love you, Po. You should do. You're a good girl. Mm. Po, stop chewing on it. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you a good girl. You made me happy. You made me happy. Yes, you did. You're not eating that. Good girl. Good boy, Pace. Fucking noise, man. Why are you fucking rip it to bits, man? Why are you destroyed it? I killed it. No, you didn't kill it, mate. I killed it. Well, I found it. No, Po found it. No, I fucking found it. No, Po found that one, mate. Oh, I'm telling you, I fucking found that pig. I found that pig right there. No, Po found it. Well, look, I was right next to her when she found it then, so I, ha I have half the claim in it. No, you were up her ass, mate. She, she found it. She winded it, she found it first. Oh, fuck it, oh, fuck it. oh okay, fuck it then. I said it's about a 50 pound sow. So, my mate Crispy made me a beautiful new pig hunting knife, which I was going to blood today. And I grabbed my sheath out of the truck, but it had this horrible old skinning knife, which is blunt as a piece of wood. And it's, yeah, you know, I stuck the pig with it, but oh, I wanted to blood my new knife, and I've got this one here. And it's honestly, it's not even slightly sharp. Good luck with uh, gutting a pig with this. It was hard enough to stick it and so blunt. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's not sharp. Sometimes I think my idiot brain's been fucked by stupid. Did you watch that movie? The boys? All right, let's do it. Because I'm in a real shit gully, this is what you guys do if you just start out and pick any you old dogs know this one, but you young guys starting off when you're in a gully like this where it's shit and you've got to carry out through shit. That's the uh, incision I made in the pig. I'm not going to open up because I can't show you the guts, but the guts is in there. I'm going to leave the arsehole intact. I'm going to knock the throat out and pull it all out just with my hand. That way you've got a minimal hole for shit to get into your pig when you're carrying it out because you don't want to contaminate your meat too much. And that's as big as I'm going. Normally I'd gut it right up the sternum, right down to here, but in this case here, it's just enough for me to get my hand inside, which I'm going to do now. It's so stupid I can't show you guys this on YouTube because I show you it, then the, the bloody video doesn't get seen or gets flagged. Because it's an educational thing, but it's just this uh, snowflake world we live in today. Anyway, that's the way you do it. So the rest you can imagine. You put your hands up inside, tear the diaphragm out with your fingers, pull the whole lot out, take the guts out first. You can leave your, your heart and lungs in there if you want to eat that, but I give it to my dogs because that's their reward treat. Right, we'll do that and I'll show you the feeding of the dogs when we get to that stage. Because I'm not cutting the arsehole out, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the shit like this. Not for you to eat, Po, it's pig shit. It's, nah, don't eat that. Jeez. And um, leave it like so there's no poo in it. Like that there. And that stops the bloody poo being in the meat. I can tie a knot in that and poke it back inside. And the blood doesn't run out down my crack when I'm taking it out. Because I expected the boys to get down here before me, I didn't actually have any string. I assume they'd get down here before me because they're younger than me and supposedly fitter. But assumptions are mother of all fuck up. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking apart the string that uh, holds my GPS to tie the pig up to carry it out because I didn't bring my usual belt with cable ties and everything on it. You think by now I'd know better, wouldn't you? But anyway, we've always got a backup, and that's the good thing about these. They do have string on them. You just got to uh, untangle the whole lot, which is a bit of work. Oh, loves lungs, don't you, Poe? There you go. She likes lungs. Right, got. Uh, one piece of string, a nice long piece of string. Let's tie this pig up, eh? That's nice, got a lot to be desired. Everybody's got their way of doing it. Neither way's either right nor wrong, just whatever works for you. I've been waiting for the boys to get here. It's actually taken them 32 minutes from the top. The pig would have been eaten by now if old man Clay hadn't been here. What's the story? That was real thick. It's real thick, I know, but when you've got dogs on a pig, you've got to move through it, you know? Yeah, we were, we couldn't, like, it was, like, I know what it's like, mate. I was going through it myself. You got chaps on. I haven't even got chaps. Looks like Brody's going to be the first one here. I'm for Lucas. Is Lucas with you now? Yeah, yeah we had to wait for him. Okay. Right, Come on, Lucas. Oh, oh you're down. You're right. Yeah, wait. You can see why it's so hard for me to get here, eh? Yeah. Oh no, I lost my knife. You lost your knife? Yeah. You, you just lost it just now. Yeah. Find it, mate. You have a good look around there. Imagine if you come down as a big boar and you'd lost it. That's no good if you can lose your knife like that, pal. 
You need to fix it up so it doesn't happen. Can you see it? No. Fucking you have to you have to change that system if your knife's fallen out there. You can't have a knife falling out when you're going down to the pin. Found it. You found it. Yeah. That system's no good. You'll need to change that. That's no good. You shouldn't ever lose your knife, even if you do go ass over quite, eh? Yeah. Okay. Old mate's tied up, so I'm going to start carrying. Got all the boys back. Where's young Lucas? Where are you, Lucas? Right there. You, there you go, mate. You okay? You have any breakfast this morning? You need to make your knife much more secure than it is. That's, yeah, that know. system is no good. I've ripped the hole or something in it. And in the future, we need a different system for you because it's going to fall off and you're going to get to a big bore sometime and not have a knife on you and then you're going to be in trouble. So. Yeah. You have to use your teeth. You're going to get up there? Let me give you a hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, push. Come on, have a gun. Pop him. Come on. Pop him. Come on, pop. Have a gun. Oh. Well, it's a bit more like it. Good dogs. It's only a little pig, but geez, it was hard work to get out of this gully here and hard work to, to get back out. I'm glad it's actually not a big pig. I'd, I'd struggle to carry a bigger boar out of here, eh? Because it's like this. Coming up. Are you okay, Lucas? You look a bit pale, mate. Are you alright? You're not sick? You sure? You look a bit tired, fella. I am a bit tired. Are oh, you tired? Did you sleep alright last night? You're not crook? No. Yeah? You're the youngest. You're only 11. Don't be hard on yourself. Harley's taking a carry now. It's pretty steep country. Lucas is helping making a track up in front of him. As is Brody. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork wins the day. And I'm Charlie and Charlie. You're a track maker too there, uh, Lucas, so make sure it's easy for our man with a pig on his back. You got it there uh, in your super gumboots there, Harley. Yeah. You're going well far. Going good. Lucky it's not a 140 pound boar, eh, mate? Yeah. He'll be struggling to get it out. Good man. Brody's having a carry, making that pig look small on his back because he's a big boy. Uh, Lucas is doing a good job. Champion going through the stick stuff up here. Punching through like a little machine. You're going well, Lucas. Young Lucas has hit the wall mentally. He's actually a, a gun we pick under. He's only 11 and he's really been challenged down this really thick stuff. So he's having to dig deep. I'm actually really proud of him, but I can see right now he's like, just wants to give up. I know that feeling when I was young. I know how it feels like you're really, just you didn't make it, you're disappointed you didn't get there. He's a kid that's really like hard on himself. So I'm gonna give him a carry when he gets to the top even though he doesn't feel like it to get his spirits back up. Well, hopefully it does. He says he doesn't want to, but once he gets a pig on the back, I think he'll feel better. Do you want a break? Yeah, we won. Okay. Yeah, good We've got a road yet, boys? Got a road? Happy days. Doesn't matter how hard you're struggling, we all have to have a carry, son. It's going to be a lot heavier for him than it has been for us. This is like us carrying 150 pounds on our back because he's only small. Right, are you okay? He's looking strong. Right, you get the last bit of the truck. If I hold the camera down here, it makes you look like a giant. Everyone's going to think you're a massive man. Nice. Good man. Well done, team. Thank you, dogs. You lost your knife again? Have you really? I think you can kiss that knife goodbye. Yeah. We'll get you another one. I'll, right. I'll take care of that. I'll yeah. sort you out. No worry. I'll get you a better knife and a better system. Brody lost his knife. Take a time. Take a time. 
Let's chuck it, mate. Eat up. <laughs> Gonna go slow, are you? Okay, mate. You know what time it is, don't you, Poe, eh? Good, good, Poe. Posse on for you. Fixie, up. Poe. In the box, Fixie. Good, Poe. Fixie. Boys are all having something to eat and I'm pulling the prickles out. Um, tell me about your knife, mate. Um, why did you lose it? Did it just fall out of the sheath, did it? Sorry. Why did it fall out of the sheath? Explain what happened. It hasn't got that. Oh, that had broken? Yeah. When did that break off? It broke ages a while ago. Okay. Yeah. So what brand is it? Hunter's element. Yeah. You're always going to lose the knife. Like, what was holding it in there today? Just, um, just sitting in there. No, got two jerseys over top of it. Two jerseys over top. Yeah, yeah. So you made a mistake by taking it and broken. You're always going to lose that knife. Look at these. They're actually warm. They've been warm in the back of the truck. See, so warmer is up there with the sun on it. Good chomping. Mm. <laughs> Secret ingredients. You'd be really surprised if you knew what's actually inside them. Yum. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed our video of taking the boys pig hunting. This has been Harley and Brody. Head in the back, Lucas. Thanks for your support and uh, following us. Really appreciate it. Catch you in the next video. Be good. At least try and be good. Can't be good. Be careful. And. Uh, we hope that we uh, see you again soon in another pig hunting video or just another random video. Maybe we'll do a fishing one. Don't know what the next one's going to be. You boys have fun? Yeah. yeah. You want to go again? Yeah. Is that you too, Luke? You want to go again, mate? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll right, we'll take you out again soon. <laughs> yeah. Watch, watch the traffic, mate. Watch the traffic. There you go, mate. Enjoy your pig. Yeah. See you, buddy. Amen.